My name is Gui Ping Yan, a nematologist at North Dakota State University. I'm working on nematode disease on different crops. Today, I will talk about uh, nematode, root region nematode detection and reproduction in potato. Plant parasitic nematode are very tiny worms. So they are, you know, most of them cannot be seen, you know, with naked eye. They only can be observed under a microscope. This tiny worm can cause significant crop loss and, uh, you know, uh, considered as uh, one threat to crop production in the world. There are many types of plant parasitic nematode. Root region nematode today I'm going to talk is uh, uh, one type of uh, the nematode. So this nematode, unlike soybean cyst nematode, they are never form a cyst stage. They are moving all the time during their life cycle for root penetration, infection, and feeding. So this nematode, you know, you won't see on this potato leaves. Most of them, you know, are underground. So we can't go to field, you know, see this disease caused by root region nematode, but you need to dig the plant out and take the sample from uh, soil around the root zone. We can do nematode assay, very specific nematode detection assay, then we can detect the nematode problem. Several root region nematode, like pretty lankus, any choice, probably you know this nematode. And also other nematodes, pretty lankus, scraminary, neglectus, and crenatus are harmful to potato. But these nematodes are very similar in morphology. You can identify them, particular among species, with a microscope right away. So that's why we developed a you know, molecular method, DNA-based method, to help us identify this type of nematode. With the funding support from uh, North Dakota uh, Specialty Crop Block Grant Program, we developed a new real-time PCR assay for detecting and quantifying this nematode directly from field soil after DNA extraction, and also for direct detection and quantification this nematode uh, from plant roots. In this way, we can avoid time-consuming steps of nematode extraction, identification, and counting steps, and improve detection efficiency. Another important uh, uh, project I want to uh, talk about is uh, uh, root region nematode species, uh, pretty lankus scraminary, you know, for field, uh, uh, rep uh, field trial to determine, you know, uh, the nematode reproduction in different uh, potato cultivars. You know, this trial is very big. We tested a total of 60 cultivars, just like this, you know, but not here, in a different location in Southern County, North Dakota. So there are 60 cultivars, each of them in four replications. So totally we have 240 field plots, so a pretty big trial. You know, we conduct uh, for two years, in 2018 and 19. You know, from the first year of experiment, we found nematode have very good reproduction overall. Almost uh, every cultivar uh, allowed the nematode to reproduce. But in the second year, the reproduction rate was pretty low. And uh, most cultivars did not support uh, nematode reproduction. Why there is a big difference? I think the reason might be the late sampling in 2019. You may know in 2019, pretty wet, we planted late and we harvested late. So we have to take sample, you know, in October, pr pr pretty late. So at that time, you know, it's pretty cold. So, and also, you know, uh, potato plant are ye yellowed and nematodes move out from soil, or, you know, move out from root, you know, move back to soil. So that's kind of situation and the different, you know, because of the environment. I think the environment play a big role in uh, nematode reproduction uh, evaluation. And uh, I think a third year of experiment is necessary to confirm uh, nematode reproduction in those uh, cultivars.
So and uh, um, I think for real legion nematodes, you know, as a grower, you may want to know the management too. I think soil fumigation. Uh, crop rotation with non-host crops and also keeping your uh, plant healthy with good culture practice will be helpful and should be able to, you know, managing this nematode. nematode. But as I said, this is a new species, a lot of uh, things are unknown, so um, uh, more information definitely is needed. In addition to work on root lesion nematode, we also work on cis nematode, stubby root nematode, and other uh, plant parasitic nematode. So if you have any question about nematodes, or you uh, suspect your field has a nematode problem, so just uh, you know, call us, you know, um, contact uh, NDSU nematology uh, lab, so we'll be there you know, uh, for you. Thank you.